So in this video, I want to touch on the idea of, you know, constitutional isomers, identical or resonance, different, and by different, I mean constitutional isomers. So maybe I should put an arrow here. Okay. Or, you know, are they unrelated, right? So are they constitutional isomers, identical or resonance, or are they unrelated? Okay. And the first thing, if I'm giving this on an exam, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to ask the professor, well, what is a definition? Well, the bad thing for you is that you should already know the definitions before you go into your test. So don't be like me. Okay. So, but you get the idea. Uh, so to get to the, the bottom of the things, we're given a choice between two molecules and say, okay, well, are these identical or resonance structures, constitutional isomers, or are they unrelated? And the first thing I usually do is look to see if the molecular formulas are the same. Okay. So if I look over here, I have one, two, three, four, five carbons. Okay. I have five carbons. Okay, I have five carbons. I have two, four, six, seven, eight. So I have five carbons, eight hydrogen. So this is C5H8. Okay, now what about this one? Okay, well, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, because remember at each end of an alkyne bond, we have a carbon. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have C5, okay, and then we have three hydrogens, three hydrogens, that's six. We have one here that makes seven, and then we have a hydrogen here that makes eight. So these are C5H8. So you see the molecular formulas are the same, they're just different structures, and that is what we consider as constitutional isomers. So that would be the correct answer. Now, what about this one? Okay, what about this one? Well, again, I'm looking at this, I'm saying, okay, well, what are they? Okay. Are they constitutional isomers? Um, you know, are they different about their structure? Same molecular form with different about their structure? Uh, probably, probably, but guess what? We don't care about that. Okay. If I'm looking at this, I want to look at resonance. Okay. So immediately when I see charges, I want to look at resonance. Now, does that mean they have to be resonance? No. Do not assume that. But that is the first thing I want to look at, though, when I see charges. And, and you could see it indefinitely. I had a plus charge in my oxygen. Okay. And I delocalized these electrons, uh, one of these pi electrons, to form a double bond on that alcohol here. So I move this around and I move this here to form a double bond. So you could see that all we're doing is moving electrons. Um, in this ring here, all we're doing is all, all we're doing here is actually moving electrons. And so these would be actually identical resonance. Okay. All we're doing is moving electrons. We're taking, um, you know, these lone pairs on the oxygen here, forming a double bond and then, uh, uh giving these electrons, the, the, the plus charge. Okay. So that's all we're doing for that one. Yeah, and actually, I, I think I drew the structure wrong. The resonance doesn't make any sense. So this double bond shouldn't be here. No, just, my, my mistake, the double bond should be here, okay? Now that makes sense. I'm sorry about that, guys. So you could see that all we're doing is taking the, the two lone pairs, uh, two lone pairs on the oxygen, forming a double bond, and moving, kicking these bond, this pi electron as electrons onto the oxygen to give you that neutral one. Okay, so these are what we consider as identical or resonance. I'm sorry about that. Um, this, yeah, this the double bond should actually be there. Now that may, now it makes sense. Okay, now how about this one? Okay, these two. Are these identical or resonance, constitutional isomers, or are they unrelated? Well, again, the first thing we we'll look at is the molecular formula. Okay. So you could see that the molecular formula is not even the same. Here I have one hydrogen, one hydrogen. Here I have two hydrogens, two hydrogens. So you can see that we have an abundance of hydrogen on this one uh, and you know very little on this one. Okay. So we know that these are not identical resonance, right? Because again, we're not moving. <laughs> All of a sudden we have no double bonds it's not conjugated and then all of a sudden it gets conjugated so we know that these are not we're not moving any any uh atoms okay so these are not identical resonance now are they constitution uh, constitutional isomers well we define constitutional isomers as the same molecular formula but different structure well we just say that these have an abundance of hydrogen versus this so these are unrelated right they're, they're not the same molecular formula so they can't be constitutional now how about this one 
Okay. Well, again, if I'm looking at this, I could definitely see that these are the same molecular formula. The only thing I did was just move the pi bond. The only thing I did was move the pi bond from, from here to here, okay? And same molecular formula, uh, uh, they're not resonance, right? They're not resonance. We just have the same molecular formula. We draw it a different way. It's a different structure. Same molecular formula, different structure. And these are what we consider as constitutional isomers. Okay, now what about this one? Okay, what I see that, okay, well, we have the same molecular formula, you all agree, okay? I have two carbons, I have one, two, three, four hydrogens, and I have an oxygen, okay? So the same molecular formula, but they have different structure. They have different structures. So these are what we consider as constitutional isomers, okay? Now, there's something that I want to point out that's very important here. Guys, when you're looking at these problems, don't look at the functional groups, okay? Please do not. Do not. <laughs> because you see why. If I said, okay, well, this is a ketone and this is an alcohol. Oh, well, they're different compounds. Uh, well, in fact, you know, in, in theoretically, they're different, right? You know, you're not going to get the same chemistry with an alcohol versus a, you know, a ketone, right? But... They're actually the same. And then actually, what you'll actually learn is this. This is actually anytime this is a tautomer. So anytime an alcohol is adjacent to a uh, double bond, it will rapidly tautomerize to give you the ketone. Okay, but that's something later on. That's something. Um, uh, so, but these are constitutional isomers. Okay, these are constitutional isomers. So again, the same molecular formula, different structure. Now, what about this one here, this last one here? Well, again, to me, it looks as if I'm taking this pi bond, okay, and bringing it up and giving my oxygen a negative charge. So the only thing I'm doing is moving my pi bond. The only thing I'm doing is moving my pi bond, and this is what we consider as identical resonance, right? And what we mean by identical resonance, they're the same thing. It's just a diff there's just a resonance form of the compound, okay?